Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part three of the same topic that is the understanding quadrilaterals. In that we are going to see the innings 11.3. If three angles of a triangle are equal and the fourth angle is the right angle, then find the three angles of the quadrilateral. So what we'll do here, the three angles they are said they are equal and the fourth angle is the right angle so we can consider like we can say each of the three equal angles be x and you know there are four sides in a this one quadrilateral and the so this will be there will be four angles here so the fourth one they have said that is the right angle means right angle means that is 90 degree so you know the sum of angles in a quadrilateral that is 360 so we can write here x plus we are going to take these three angles we have considered that as x plus 90 is 360 degree so this is going to be 3x plus 90 is 360 degree so 3x will be 360 this will go here that is going to be minus 90 degree so 3x will be 270 so x is going to be 270 divided by 3 so x is going to be 90 so we can say thus the three angles of the quadrilateral are each that will be 90 degree because they have asked for the three angles so we can write here each 90 degree if the measure of the four angles of a quadrilateral are in the ratio 1 is to 3 is to 7 is to 9 then find all the angles so sum of all angles in a quadrilateral is 360 so we can now consider this one because the ratio is given 1 is to 3 is to 7 is to 9 so we can say let the angles be 1 means we can say that is x this 3 means we can say 3x 7 means 7x and 9 means 9x so because it is the sum is 360 so we are going to add this all one so x plus 3x plus 7x plus 9x is 360 so this will be 20x will be 360 so x is going to be 360 this will go on the other side that is going to get divided so this will be 18 so x is 18 so what will be now 3x so 3x will be 3 into this 18 that will be 54 7x will be 7 into 18 that is going to be 126 degree and 9x will be 19 to 18 that is going to be 162 degree. If ABCD is a quadrilateral and BO and CO are the angle bisectors of angle B and angle C respectively, then find the measure of angle BOC and angle BCD if angle DAB is equal to angle ABC is equal to 60 degree and angle ADC is equal to 100 degrees so now we know this one is given we'll, let us write the given things first this dab is abc is 60 degree and then again they said angle adc is 100 degree and bo and co are the angle bisectors of angle b a b and angle c that is also given so we have to find out this one angle boc and angle bcd so this is a rough diagram what i have done so on the basis of the given things so now we want this angle BOC because they said BO and CO are the angle bisectors. So for this one, we can draw here the bisectors over from here that will be BO and CO. So this is the, and this O is here. So now what we can say because they said DAB is equal to ABC. DA, when we say DAB, so we consider the middle angle, this one angle. So this one, that is 60 degree, this is given. And ABC, when it is ABC, ABC the middle one, that means this angle, this whole angle is that is going to be 60 degree. So now what happens here, this because it is the angle bicycle, this whole is 60. So this part, only this part is going to be 30 because it is the angle bisector. And this is already given again, angle ADC, when we say ADC, ADC means this D1. This is 100 degree. So if you know these things, now let us do. So now in quadrilateral ABCD, that is, we have done ABCD, that will be angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D. You know the sum of angles in the quadrilateral, that is 360 degree. Now we know A out of it, that is A is 60. Then again, we know the B, this part is 60. Again, we don't know angle C, but we know angle D, that is, angle C is given as 100, and this is 360. So what will you do when you add this? That is going to be 220 plus angle C is equal to 360. So angle C is going to be 360 
this will go here that is going to be minus 220 so angle c is going to be here that will be 140 degree so now this angle c this whole part is 140 so this again this one that means this half part of it should be 70 hope this is clear and this is 30 30 70 and now this is a triangle so you know the sum of angles in a triangle angle sum property that should be 180 degree so now what are you going to do here this is 30 this is 70 so what will you do 180 minus what will you do this 30 plus 70 so this will be 180 minus this will be 100 so here the this angle o this is going to be 80 so how to get it how to write it let us see now obc is half of angle abc this o b c this is half of angle abc so that is all written here that will be half of abc means abc is 60 so that will be 30 and angle ocb this one ocb this this is going to be half of angle half of angle bcd so here can you see a b c and this one d so this c is what did we get this c as that is 140 we got it here so now what we can say that will be this will be 70 degree this is what i have explained before so angle b s will be 180 minus this 30 plus 70 because this is 30 and this is this part is 30 and this part is 70 so that will be 180 minus 100 so angle boc that will one that is just 80 degree and bcd is got what we got here as that c that is bcd that is 140 degree the sum of two angles of a quadrilateral is 150 and the other and the other angles in the ratio 2 is to 3 find the two angles of the quadrilateral so what we can do with this ratio is given as 2 is to 3 so let the two angles be 2x and 3x so sum of angles in a quadrilateral that is given as 360 degree so what we can do now this two angles are given as 150 so there are four actually so we can write here two together that is 150 and then this two that is 2x plus 3x 2x plus 3x that whole thing is going to be 360 degree so this will be 5x is 360 and this will go here that is going to be minus 150 so 5x will be 210 so x will be 210 divided by 5 so x will be 42 degree so 2x will be 2 into 42 that will be 84 and 3x means 3 into 42 that will be 126 degree so that is what they have asked find the two angles of the quadrilateral pqrs is a quadrilateral such that angle p is equal to angle q angle r is equal to angle s and if angle p is equal to twice angle r and you have to find the angles of the quadrilateral so angle p is equal to angle q angle r is equal to angle s and angle p is equal to twice angle r so sum of all angles in a quadrilateral again that is 360 so now let us say r is equal to we can consider this as x so let we can say r is equal to angle s that is given because r is equal to angle s that will be we can consider that as x so angle p is what given as twice angle r so now we have considered this as x so what will you write here angle p will be twice of angle r we are considered as x so that will be twice x so angle p again what is given angle p is equal to angle q so angle p will be angle q so that will be angle q because this p is 2x so angle q also should be 2x of these things are clear and now what will you do because it is a quadrilateral we can add all thing angle p plus angle q plus angle r plus angle s that is 360 so now we got all in terms of x so angle p we got as 2x angle q we got as 2x angle r we got as x and angle s we got as x that is 360 now it's easy because we got all these angles in the form of x so this will be 6x will be 360 degrees so x is going to be 360 divided by 6 so that will be 60 degrees so x is 60 degrees so x is what that is angle r is 60 angle x s is equal to 60 angle p is equal to 2x that will be 2 into 60 that will be 120 degree and angle q will be 120 degree if the angles of a quadrilateral are x x plus 30 x minus 10 and 2x find the measure of the greatest angle so again here now let us say first sum of all angles in the quadrilateral is 360 we know so we are going to add these four angles 
So x plus x plus 30 plus x minus 10 plus 2x that is 360 degree. So that will be 1, 2, 3 and this 2 that will be 5x plus this will be plus 30 minus 10 will be plus 20 that is 360. So 5x will be 360 and this plus 20 will go minus 20. So 5x is going to be 340. So x will be 340 divided by 5. So x will be 68 degrees. So x plus 30 will be 68 plus 30. That is going to be 98. x minus 10 is equal to 68 minus 10. That will be 58. And 2x will be 2 into 68 degree. That is going to be 136 degree. So what they have asked here, find the greatest angle. So from this one, which is the greatest is x x plus this will be 9, 68, 98, 58 and 136. So we can say the greatest angle is 136 degree. So by this one we have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts. Thank you.